Hmm, that was not a bad opening. Kinda ugly, but I ain't gonna say shit. Anyway, what's up guys? Welcome to Fried Episode 10. If you can remember from what happened last time, as you can see from last time, it was me with my father. You know. But the real thing that happened about that whole situation was that uh, 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 my bad. The, re the thing that happened with that whole situation my game crashed so I couldn't really like continue so but yeah we 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 finally reunited with dad we met the we met this doctor that lives in a simulation pretty weird honestly this time just to avoid just not getting caught in a glitch I'm not going to travel with him I'm just gonna actually just travel to rivet city before him just because traveling with him seem it, it is dangerous he might be my dad but you caught you crash the game so I'm like we're not wasting no time with this <laughs> it's, it's no no hard feelings that it is how it is Anyway, so we'll practically just wait for him to get here unless he just magically teleports. Good to see you. Mind me. All right, now then we're supposed to be going to the lab. to report I assume hey there this place won't clean itself that's my job hey good to see you don't touch the vegetables they're fragile well, as far as things go with this situation, we're gonna wait for about 14 hours until this man gets here. There we go, it worked. We need to get back to Project Purity. The computer there is our best chance to locate a Gek. 
Probably, but we have to try, don't we? It's too important for the people of the Wasteland to let fear stop us now. We need to get moving right away. Are you coming with us? That's my boy. It'll be good to work side by side with you, son. I'm not trying to put you off, but we need to get to Project Purity. Anything else can wait until the... Why is this locked? Is everything all right? You found him? I can't believe it! You have my thanks. We would be lost without James. So you did. I apologize for entertaining the thought of doubting you. I have faith in your father. With the knowledge he's gained, we stand a better chance than we ever have. Farewell. Is everything all right? Hey there. So where am I going? Are we going back? Oh, so we have to go back to the Jefferson Memorial. Did you need something? Yes. They're all coming? I guess. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. I put this on. I was wondering like why do I have this? There was something weird. Uh anyway, yeah. Is everything nah. alright?
I should probably save just for precautions. Good to see you. Did you need something? Oh yeah, that's right. I gotta reset all my guns just because I was in that simulation last episode. Hello, son. I wish these AIs would just like, you know, run. Did you need something? Hey. Sorry if it seems like I'm not talk, uh, talking much, everyone. You know, as you can see with this calm before the storm adventure, if we didn't have something like this going on.
I'm like, I figured something's here. I'm like, what was the point of you coming out here, girl? But then again, I guess that was a stupid thing for me to say for like what she's coming out here for when it's obvious. Damn. Woo, this gun got some power. Hello. Fuck it, I'm gonna go underneath the ground because I already killed these enemies before anyway. So there's no. Um, unless they respawn, then that's kind of a egg on my face. Wait for them to get inside. That is fantastic. All right, since we're waiting, how about we wait for 10 hours? Because I'm like, I literally have to wait for AIs just to walk here. Like, why is this a thing? Scientists at Project Purity. They're not even here yet. Did they even walk through the damn door? Let me walk back outside. Is everything all right? We can't accomplish anything until we can get inside. But none of us are particularly capable fighters. I hate to ask you to put yourself in harm's way, but you seem to have learned to handle yourself. I need you to go in and make sure it's safe for Dr. Lee and her crew. I'm afraid I don't have many options. Please know that I would never put you in this position if I didn't think it was absolutely necessary. Will you do it? Be careful. Hey there. Hey. I'm like, if y'all, if y'all known that y'all were gonna be picked off this easy, why I come over here? Just saying. Did you, what can I do for you? Ah, these AIs have no brains. Yes. Come on, come on, go inside. Yes. Go inside. Fuck it. I'm gonna go inside first. <sighs> bottle tube. What's up, bottle tube? No, then. Even though I already cleared out this place before let's just see where I need to go
Uh, oh, there's seriously light enough. Yeah, because I'm like, when I came here before to do shit, like, yeah, I killed the... I already killed everything here. And then as far as, like, the AIs, I just wish they would have came in already, but I guess that only works from, like, Fallout 4 perspectives, because Fallout 4 was, like, my first... My, uh, Fallout 4 was, like, my first Fallout game. Okay, this console is without... I don't know what the hell is inside. I thought there was like something to press over here or something. Uh, wait, drink. So wait, there's another underground? Okay, here we go. That scared the shit out of me. I'm crouching. Woo, woo, woo. Okay. Ooh, ooh, wow. What the fuck? All right. Still ain't dead? You still ain't dead? Okay, now you dead. So that Okay, uh do I have Yes. Alright, let's hit that left arm. Pew 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 Boy, put the gun down.
thought it was worth a try. I will save right here though at this spot. Thank you for reminding me about the underground basement, even though I was surprised, like, why didn't I go, why didn't I come down here when I came here before, but I think I realized it was probably because I didn't have health. Project purities. Better days. I swear this game makes me appreciate Fallout 4 better even though this game this game is like 11 years old it's just so fried Graf uh, I'm just this game this game honestly looks like it could have been played on 64 uh that's right there's no power so let's go this. Now try and hide from there. Boy, pew, pew. like that in Fallout 4 like they didn't really they were still able to do shit oh okay well that was easy alright well let me find that bedroom real quick and just sleep for about okay it's 7 p.m. they're gonna wait outside we're gonna sleep in here for about 12 hours P project purity project sleep is way more important Okay, now let's back to the action. 
Thank you once again, Bubble. Uh, yeah. Well, Bottle Tube. Yeah, thank you once again, Bottle Tube, for telling me about the basement. Usually, I'm the one that be exploring like hella shit. I practically beat the hell out of Fallout 3, but I ain't get all the achieve. I did get all the achievements, but not really, cause for as far as like for story, the last that I had to d get was the the achievements for beating the game with the Brotherhood of Steel. I haven't gotten that one. The ones that I have gotten were the other, but I already beat the game with like the. I already beat the game with the railroad and then the institute. I wish you could honestly choose to be good and e good and evil in the game because I'm like the game ultimately makes you good despite the fact you can be an asshole your entire play for. Yes. Are you all right? Is it safe in there? Is it safe, head ass? I'm proud of you. Now let's get in there. If there, if there was an option to lie, I wonder how fucked up that would be. What's on your mind? Somehow, I don't think the Overseer would agree with that. What's done is done. But if we succeed, if we can make Project Purity a reality, we can create a new life for ourselves out here. I wouldn't be here if I didn't. With what I've learned from Dr. Braun, I know it can work. That's why it's so important to find a Gek as soon as possible. It's the key to Project Purity. So am I, son. While this isn't what I had in mind, it's good to have you with me. Be careful. Alright, now let's go back inside here again. Morning. Is everything alright? Morning. Did you need something? Hurry up, hurry up. All of you slow ass AIs, hurry up. Good lord. Hey. Longest of long times. The longest of long AIs in Fallout 4 were so much faster. They never run out of sprint. Is everything all right? Did you need something? Good to see you. Come on, Justice League. This man think he could just come back to like some old forgotten project facility and just get right back to work like he just wasn't here type shit. Alright. Here we are, where it all began. You remember your mother's favorite passage? Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Don't you see? This is what it all means. The water, the purifier. This is the water of life. 
Your mother's dream. No point in wasting time. Let's get to work. There's much to be done. The project was abandoned shortly after you were born. Things have deteriorated here since then, and there's been some flooding. I need you to get to the flood control pumps and activate them so we can clear out the water and reach the mainframe. The automatic doors sealed when the flooding occurred, so you'll have to use the access tunnels to reach the pumps. Is everything all right? All right, guys. We're going to save the water. Do everything for the water. Breathe the water. Live by the water. Hi. These names. I ain't about to talk to them, though. My bad, guys. I had a phone call. <sighs> I had a phone call. Anyway, let me go back up here and do what I need to do. I've been hearing good things about you. Is it true? Did you really disarm the bomb and Megaton? I'm very proud of you, even though you put yourself in harm's way. Just please be careful out there. This is a dangerous world, far more dangerous than anyone in that vault knows. Right, the flooding shorted out some of the fuse boxes downstairs, including one that controls some of the automatic doors. Here. Take these fuses. The box is back down in the sub-basement near the eastern end of the level. Once the fuses are replaced, you'll be able to get to the mainframe. Be careful, my son.
Ugly. We're go we're going in the NASA hit us. Um where not here. Then it would be somewhere down this way. I'm looking for a door, door. I know what he's talking about, but I can't remember where it was down here when I was here before. Alright, let me check my map. So, probably, yeah, it has to be upstairs. this out just in case. Ooh, 60 bottle caps. Uh, so I have to go back over. Um, what? I did not mean to do that.
I should actually get back there right now. I honestly thought there was not about to be no action, no action happening. I actually thought there was about to be no action happening. But this was a plot twist, and now I'm gonna have to go all the way around. Is that somebody? No, that's just the toilet and the plunger. <laughs> Shit! He actually saw me. Oh, I can't shoot him. Bang, 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 bang. Sawed off shotgun it is. You got some nice armor. Boy! Oh, I'm such a bad aim. Good God. Does, I feel like that didn't even hurt him. Definitely about to take this armor. It's about time I got an upgrade. Sorry, I had to get loud with it. I just I you don't know how hard it's been. Power armor training is required to wear this. What the fuck? Are you serious? What the fuck? Really? They want you to train to wear armor? Please. Please. Yeah, right. Y'all out of your fucking mind. Power armor training. That sounds like IV training in Pokemon. But power armor? Tango spotted. Open fire. Boy, shut up. Okay, uh, let's see. What should I use? Hunting rifle? taking my time with this just because I mean I can heal but still this you don't want to rush certain things like this especially since power armor training is a thing in this game apparently so stupid that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard I have never heard some uh, this game is so old I'm like, I'm not gonna play this game that much just to get perks for this shit. I'm like level eight? 
dude can shoot his gun. Why is his right arm? Uh... Damn, critical shot. But he's not dead. Well done. Boy, you about to catch this hand. By the authority of the president, this facility is now under United States government control. What? The, person in charge is the government is dead. And the apocalypse came. What the fuck? Related to this project. That's quite impossible. This is a private project. The enclave has no authority here. I'm going to have to ask you to leave at once. Am I to assume, sir, that you are in charge? Yes, I'm responsible for this project. Then I repeat, sir, that you are hereby instructed to immediately hand over all materials related to the purifier. I'm sorry, but that's... Furthermore, you are to assist Enclave scientists in assuming control of the administration and operation of this facility at once. Colonel, is it Colonel? I'm sorry, but the facility is not operational. It never has been. I'm afraid you're wasting your time here. Sir, this is the last time I am going to repeat myself. Stand down at once and turn over control of this facility. Colonel. I assure you that this facility will not function. We have never been able to successfully replicate test results. I suggest you comply immediately, sir, in order to prevent any more incidents. No! Are we clear? Open the damn door! Yes, Colonel. Do whatever you want. There's no need for more violence. Then you will immediately hand over all materials related to this project and aid us in making it operational at once. Very well. A few moments to bring the system online. How the fuck is the government relevant? What? The apocalypse happened. There should be no I'm government. So tired of waiting. Just another minute and I'll be done. Holy shit! Run! Run! Bruh! What is he doing in there? Well, found the bell. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Well, what a short reunion with dad. And what what does it say? It says return to the control room. So, go back in there even though he just told me to run? Is the game gonna tell me something? Like, uh, like what? James. He's gone. We have to get out of here. They'll be coming for us next. We've got to evacuate now. James, your father caused an overload. He sacrificed himself to keep the Enclave from getting the purifier and to buy us some time to escape. There'll be more of them coming. We need to get out of here before they find us, or else your father died in vain. There's nothing anyone can do for him now. The radiation levels in there are lethal. You die the same way he did. We need to get out of here now. We used an old abandoned tunnel as an escape route once before, many years ago. Everyone should know how to find it. We need to get there right now. Let's go. When the AIs finally decide to start running. Lord. Anyway. Looks like this won't be a boring episode. Run! Run! What the fuck? Oh. I was like, she just disappeared. We need to escape while we can. 
Hello. What is going on? Don't wander off. We're going to need you. You heard me. We need you right now. You're the only one here with any amount of combat experience. We've got the Enclave behind us, and who knows what ahead of us. If we're going to make it through here, we need your help. We need to stick together, but we need to move quickly. We'll follow behind you, all right? Let's get moving. We'll be right behind you. Be careful. I have no idea what to expect down here, but I'm gonna save. <laughs> I know y'all fools better pick up the slack. I don't know why you AIs tend to be super slow. I don't know if he's dangerous or not, but at least he's not shooting me. Wow, they're actually following. And now, one of my inspirational quotes from the mouth of your I mean, they can't shoot me from this angle anyway. Voice, warmth, and reason in this cold, unreasonable world. Greetings again, sweet America. This is President John Henry Heath, and I'd like to chat if you've got a moment. When I was a child, growing up in rural Kentucky, I had What the fuck is she doing over there? You think this is a time to exercise, girl? If you don't get that ass in gear? Well, I said the magic words. Oh, we got a feral. Why are y'all just getting close to the... Like, really? 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 What the fuck? What the fuck? What is, what is your problem? Like, bro, why would you run into... Why? Idiot. Let me switch to something, like, worth killing the damn things. Somebody just die. I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna have to take some drugs. Rat eggs. Rat away. Just in case I have rats. I don't care if I have addictions. Yep. Stupid. Anyway. We can't go any further. We need to stop. 
Garza is in need of medical attention immediately. He has a heart condition. I will not leave him behind. Damn. Calm the fuck down. I'm like, y you gotta understand the situation. I'm like, I'm like, pfft. we live in the apocalypse. Despite the fact you being a scientist and a doctor, I'm like, and we being chased. I'm like, all right, let's just give him on the go surgery. I don't have sufficient medical supplies with me, or else this wouldn't be a problem. If you have any stim packs, I would ask that you hand them over. We cannot continue to delay here. Something must be done. Is there no medicine to be found? Nothing but corpses. Med eggs. Drugs. Beer. Get out of my face. You're looking so fried and thirsty. This man want a stem pack at this time. I am sorry. I cannot continue. I need to rest for a while. I do not have my usual supplies of medicine. I was too hasty in leaving. Perhaps if I just rest a while. Perhaps not. I am feeling better, but not well enough to be of use to you. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, because we can't go anywhere. Because we can't go anywhere. Fuck it. I can't leave Garza here in this condition. We're not going anywhere until he's been helped. Maybe you're right. Very well, I'll tell him, and then we'll continue. Let's make this quick. Because of your heart condition, I'm like, boy, I just used my last impact, and I ain't about to help you out. I'm Good like, you. we getting the fuck on. Out of all the times, it's like a little kid asking, like, I need to go potty type shit. The fuck? Whoa! This is the wrong time to sit on the couch. Shit! Where? Dumbass. Why is you at? Whatever. Hold on, real quick, guys.
All right. Sorry, guys. I'm back. And now I'm probably about to die. Yep. Oh. oh. My bad. I had to go do something real quick. We can't go any further. We need to stop. Guards. I said I will not. Maybe. We will match up the destitute orphan children of the capital wasteland with qualified. Because we don't have no magic. We have no magic fucking. As it was. As it was meant. I have no magic fucking stim packs to give this man. Oh, I'm like, what can some janitor do? Now is not a good time to be talking. I'm like, yeah, cuz you useless, boy. Fuck out of here. Anyway. There's ghouls. Is there any other, anything else? Okay, there's ghouls. Alright. So it's like a psycho on. Boy. I don't know what's ahead of me. Okay, more ghouls. Oh, would you look at that? A stem pack, but guess who gets to use it? Me. Yeet, boy. And this is a dead end. How the fuck are we gonna get out of here? Isn't there some other place we can go? Shit, okay. Get out the way, fool! Running in the way of my crosshairs and shit. Shouting Why is she behind the ghoul? Well, he can't get through that. Okay, now you can. No problem. The Brotherhood of Steel. Or would you look at that? Right away. Ammunition. Yes, yes, yes. Well, since we're near these guys, they can handle whatever is coming our way. I'm about to just take my time over here. Take my time, take my time. Yes.
I was about to say, like, how did her corpse just get behind my back all of a sudden? The Citadel. Name's Paladin Bale. What do you need, civilian? Steel be with you. I have got your gun. I know people would be in need of shelter. You must allow us access at once. I'm sorry, ma'am. No unauthorized civilians allowed inside the Citadel. You'll have to leave now. Lions! I know you're in there! I know you can hear me! You open this goddamn door right now! We can't stop now. We need to keep going. Obviously. But it sounds I'm the one taking the steps. Ooh, 700 XP. Achievement unlocked for the waters of life. So much for the waters. Any OA. Medicine, I'm surprised to see you here. What can I do for you? Don't talk down to me, Lions. I had nowhere else to turn. You must help us. Project Purity has been overrun. Yes, I'd heard reports of an incident there. What details can you give us? The Enclave. They've attacked Project Purity. James is dead. There may be more. I don't know. You have to do something. Then it's as we fear. Medicine, I'm sorry this happened. I wish we could have done something. Then do something now. They've taken over the purifier. Lions, they cannot be permitted to have control over it. It's not right. No, no, no. Calm down. You know as well as I do that the purifier doesn't work. You honor us with your presence here. Perhaps it's time to walk away. That's not true. James, he found what's been missing. We know how to get it running. Is that so? Does the Enclave know this? No, I don't think... I don't know. I, I just don't know what's happening anymore. All right, Madison, it'll be okay. Now, this is James's son, I presume? I can see the resemblance. 
Yeah, the pompadour yes. gives it away. He knows what we need. Vault tech computer, something to locate equipment. Please help him. Welcome. Very well. We'll sort this all out. Hey, you. I... I need to rest, lie down or something. This is just too much. Rothschild should help you, but don't forget that he's Brotherhood. I've never trusted them. Be careful what you tell them. I need to speak with you, Father. Yes, my daughter. What is it? Father, I know that you do not wish to discuss the fate of the outcasts. There are some who say... Boy, y'all can't throw hands. Let me hop in this piece. Let me save real quick. I'm about to be both their asses. Boy, 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 fuck out of here, boy, yeet boy, oh my god, it is not, damn, damn, what is that who the fuck dropped bombs on me? Careful with that, what do you think you're doing? What are you boy, doing? Boy, what are you doing? Boy, this is your last warning before I kill. Boy, you ain't about to kill nothing. Boy, 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 put these hands up. I'll be both y'all asses. I'll be both y'all asses. I beat your ass too. Fuck out of here. Look, I beat his ass. Now I'm about to beat your ass. Boy, girl, boy, girl, boy. Ooh. Wow. Damn, look at that ragdoll. Yo, that was pretty sweet. Paladin Gunny. Boy! Look like McRomney with your ugly ass. My God! All right, I'm done fucking with them. May I start by saying that I am sorry for your loss. I was acquainted with your father many years ago. The world has lost one of its few remaining visionaries. 
think nothing of it. Now, Dr. Lee has explained your predicament. You need to locate some vault tech equipment. A Gek? <laughs> Goodness no, certainly not. I must say that there are some who doubt such a device really exists, let alone works. If, however, you share your father's determination, I may be able to assist you in locating one. Possibly. I'm afraid I won't be able to assist you directly. The news Dr. Lee has brought will require me to be elsewhere. I can, however, give you access to an old pre-war computer from vault Tech. It may have the information you need. You'll find the terminal in the archives in the A-Ring. You are welcome. If you require further assistance, I may be able to help. Hail. You honor us with your presence here. So I was going the right way, I was like... Hmm, okay, Vault 87. He ain't here, is he?
Nah, wake your ass up. The Brotherhood is at your service. Did you have any success with that old terminal? Ah, well, that much I believe I can help with. Step over here for a moment. I'll show you where it is. Man, they love taking their time in this game. <laughs> this map shows the locations of all known vaults in the local area. Vault 87 has been highlighted for you. There. Entrance to Vault 87 will be particularly difficult for you, I'm afraid. The area is highly irradiated. Lethal levels are all around the entrance. Gaining direct access will be quite impossible. Quite simply, you don't. To attempt such a thing would be certain death for you. You share your father's determination, it seems. And in this case, you are correct. There may well Just be give me some power way. armor. Vault 87 is located very close to the site of Lamplight Caverns. It is entirely probable that the vault may be entered from within the caves. Attempts were made, but our resources are stretched thin. The radiation proved fatal and so our efforts were focused elsewhere. Perhaps you will have more success. The Brotherhood simply cannot spare the resources necessary to investigate the area. Perhaps you may be more successful. If you do find anything, please return here so that we may decide how best to proceed. I wish we could do more, but the Brotherhood potentially faces a very pressing, very real threat in the Enclave. All of my efforts must now be devoted to assessing the threat they may pose to us. I'm sure you understand. So let me step outside. Well, I guess before I do that, I'm going to... Are you a doctor? The elders sent word of your arrival. Now, I... I'm sure Gunny could train you, but he won't. Not without permission from Elder Lyons. You should ask him. He's usually near the lab. In the Elder's name. Quartermaster Durga here, stranger. I have to say, I'm not sure what you're doing in my armory. We run a tight ship, and unless Elder Lion says so, we don't trade with outsiders. Quartermaster out. What a bitch. All right, so I can't get guns just because... You again? Was I not clear the first time? I'm under order not to trade without... If you've got a problem with that... Ooh. Anyway. Plasma rifle.
You honor us with your presence here. Initiate, you've got a lot of nerve to interrupt. Oh, my apologies, stranger. I thought you were one of these worthless initiates. I swear, these kids would be lost without me here to powder their asses. That would be me, but that ain't gonna happen. Not unless Elder Lyons himself gives you the all clear. You get permission from the old man, and I'll teach you all you need to know. Otherwise, I've got enough brats to babysit. Lame as fuck. If you'll excuse save right here and we're gonna see what happens when I just you know fast travel over there to that area and cuz yeah didn't even want to go through all of that process okay this is the closest area oh. <sighs> I'm not the one, little boy. Boy. Do it!
feel like somebody or some things live down here. Hold it right there, mister! Don't take another step or we'll blow your fucking head off. Damn, kid. You're big, and I don't have any big friends. You better just go out the way you came in. You don't want to go there. That's where the monsters are. We got pretty good at keeping them out. Probably better than you could do. The big ones. You know, the ones that sort of look like people, except they're all wrong. Yeah, I do. But it's through Little Lamplight, and you're not getting into Little Lamplight. Guess you better find some other way, Mungo. Hell no! No Mungo's allowed! Well, okay, but you better not be lying or else we'll shoot you. I'm surprised 23% worked. Thanks a lot, now I'm going to destroy everybody. Happy birthday, Sticky. Sorry I missed your party. Yeah, me too. Sorry. There's nothing happy about it. This is the worst day of my life. It's time to go. You know the rules. So, do only kids live here? Hey. This is the right place, just can't get through the damn door. RJ thinking, letting a damn mungo like you in here. So who are you working with? Raiders? Slavers? Mutants? Answer up, mungo! Well, if you're sticking around, you ought to know that I'm Princess, and I call the shots around here. And don't forget it, mungo. We don't go there. It's bad back there. Ask the mayor if you really want to know. I don't need to explain myself to you, Mungo. Shut up and get lost. In fact, don't you ever bother me about something as stupid as nicknames again. But your, na your nickname is stupid, like the fuck? No, Scram. Damn, so fucking rude. Well, thank goodness you gave me permission, jerk. Anyway, I guess I'll go find 
the mayor of Townsville. Oh, here you are. Okay, so you get in, but I got my eye on you. You don't make any trouble in here, got it? I ain't having no shit butts making trouble. Shut your old goonies head ass up, boy. Good. Better stay that way, Mongo. I'm McCready. I run Little Lamplight because they made me the mayor. And I don't like strangers or Mungos. What do I look like, your tour guide? Organized? Have you walked around this place? It's pure anarchy, and I wouldn't have it any other fucking way. We can't all stay here forever, so we've all got to leave eventually. And there's not much to look forward to out there. So we have a good time while we're here, and the occasional ruthless little bastard like me makes sure it doesn't fall apart for the other kids. It's not that complex. Any kid can say they want to be mayor here. It's just that most don't want to bother with the responsibility of leading. Most of the time, they last until the kids get tired of them. Then they get kicked out on their ass by the new mayor. One only lasted five minutes. Of course, I've kept this place going strong for three years. To most kids, that makes me mayor for fucking life. Fine by me, I say. People change when they grow up, and we don't trust Mungos living down here. So we leave for a place called Big Town before we get too old. Kids who grow up fighting and surviving in Lamplight are better trained for the world out there than idiots who are pampered by grown-ups outside. Sounds like Foster's home for imaginary friends or some other gimmick where, like, kids go away when they're older. Or, like, this is some Fallout version of Codename Kids Next Door type shit. About time. Anyway, I need to fucking find someone who actually has common sense to like actually let me for Let's talk to this knickknack boy, wherever the fuck he is. Anything going on? Okay, no one's up here. I wish I can just pull the damn thing myself. Watch it. Shut up, you little brat. Um, what just happened to my character? I can't go back in the third person view? Uh, whatever, fuck it. What? What do you want, Mungo? Weird. Uh. Whoa, are we letting Mungos in now? Didn't hear any shots, so I'm guessing you're not here to raid us. And if you're not here to raid us, you might just have brought something cool for us, see? So, who are you? And how'd you get let in? In that case, I'm Nick Knack, and I take care of the general store around here. Which is to say, I collect a lot of stuff, and sometimes trade it for other stuff. That's pretty much a store, see? Well, my name was Nick, and I collect knickknacks. Not everything has to be real complex, see? Where to, man? You know that office building near the entrance? When Lucy's at work in there, she's the one who patches us up. Whenever I'm at my treasure trove in the souvenir shop, I sell whatever you're looking for. Right here. Welcome to our fungus pools. Eat up. You can only get there through Murder Pass, and we keep guards there to keep the little kids out. But if you want to have a look, it's north of the souvenir shop. Okay. 
I hope you brought me some cool stuff. I'll take all your stem packs. Come back later. Never know when I'll get another big find. Come on back when you got more stuff to trade. Alright, so where I need to go? And to go to this other place or whatever? Some place north of here. Murder pass. So, where should murder has be exactly? What now, Mungo? Yeah. Well, look who's here. What's up, Mungo? It's so dull. Practically nothing ever tries to come through the back gate anymore. So I never get to shoot anyone. I wish I was at the front gate, but RJ specifically put me back here. Up front, at least there's a chance I can shoot some unwanted visitors. Which could have included you, Mungo. <laughs> could have been a lot of reasons. Maybe you sounded like a monster in all that darkness. Maybe you had a weapon drawn and looked like a raider. Maybe I just decided I didn't like your stupid Mungo face. I'll do a little bit of exploring. I guess we'll go here. Hey, look, it's Jun Kazama. If you convinced RJ that you're safe, I guess I'll go along. But if you do start trouble, you'll regret it. I'm Lucy, the doctor here. That means I handle the funerals, too. So much as look at a kid the wrong way, and I'll be seeing you again. Damn. Sure, I could patch you up. Nothing too serious. I don't work for free, though. Let's say 75 caps. Fine. Listen, my supplies are using up. And here, I thought Zip's soda problem was bad. For 50 caps, I can help you get over that. Other okay, this should flush you out pretty quick. Now open your mouth and say, ah. Hey. A kid became a doctor without college. Good as new. Lol. Now, watch yourself out there, all right? There's always one big sister or another who knows her way around a compress and a sewing needle. So we take care of most of the little scrapes. And way back when, someone figured out that some of the plants and fungus around here absorb radiation. The little ones don't like to eat their veggies, but they don't like to be sick either. So we get by. Well, we all know the basics. Combat first aid, you know? But I've got the most experience at the tough stuff. Bumble's been learning the most about the more complex parts of cutting and sewing. People tease her, but she's got a steady hand. Of course, now she just needs to learn what you do and don't cut. It is, especially for dealing with the low-level radiation we all get from the water. The fungus just soaks it right up. 
but it doesn't help the rickets that keep hitting the younger lamp lighters. Believe it or not, I can make a treatment for that from extract of buff out. Actually, if you can talk McCready into it, I'd be glad to trade some fungus for buff out, but he'd have to say it was okay. Well, until you come asking for a bandage at least. Well, where to? There's a souvenir shop just north of the... Yeah, that's me. Well, now, here's What's something What's up, Broseph? What's a grown-up like you doing in Little Lamplight? Don't tell me when McCready's going soft on us. I'm Joseph, and around here, I might as well be the old wise man. Try not to interrupt my classes, and I think we'll get along just fine. As the oldest kid in town, I spent most of my time teaching, but I do what I can to keep the kids clean and fresh-faced. Mm. If you're looking for a haircut, feel free to ask. I'll do what I can. Boy, I'm about to roast you in your haircut. You think you can grow a pompadour like this? Well, back at the start, all the children had were the notes from the grown-ups that hadn't left yet, and a few books on caves from the store. But after finding the vault, a few scavengers brought back holotapes for basic schooling, reading, basic math, encyclopedias, that sort of thing. We don't get many books anymore from the scav team, but I make sure to keep my own notes on the computer for whoever takes over after I leave. Mostly, whatever they want to learn. We don't have strict classes or anything down here, but it does mean they're interested in what I'm teaching. But everyone learns the basics of fighting and shooting and survival. We've all got obvious reasons to be interested in that. We entered all of the books and holotapes into the computer, but frankly, there are a lot of important subjects the Volt's material didn't cover. I could wish for more, but we're probably still the best school in the Wasteland. Maybe the only school in the Wasteland, really. Glad I could help. I should be able to do that.
Okay. Waiter. Well, that's what's up, kid. You doing the right thing, fam. No, as far as getting into the fucking door. You Mungo, this had better be important. Yeah, I'll bet you've heard all about the fungus in my cavern. But yeah, that's disgusting as fuck. Sure, it's good for food and medicine, and it's the main fucking reason we've stayed alive down here. So, you want a slice of that gray green gold, huh? I think maybe we could come to an arrangement. What are you offering? I'm stupid. Sure, right. And we'll just trust you to bring us plenty of clean food and medicine, not try to poison us and move in on your own. No, no deal, Mungo. Whatever. I don't give a fuck about your little fungus. What I really care about is just getting through the damn door so I can be on my fucking day. My fucking way. Why is this kid running away? Hey, 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 hey! Stay away, Mungo. I don't want to catch old. Gosh, you're big. I've heard of you. You're one of the good guys. Alright then guys, I'm just going to wrap it up for this episode, just because I don't want to go through like any more, any more like explorations or like waste a whole bunch of time just like trying to figure out something that may seem so simple for this on this playthrough or fried. So yeah, I'm just going to wrap it up and just, we'll just do it for the next episode. Other than that, Story Times Tuesday is still going on, a matter of fact, but I am going to do Prey later on tonight, so definitely look forward to that for the next episode of Memory Air, episode four. So, um, if you're wondering, yeah, if you if you were there to watch last week's episode of Memory Air, as you can see, I made two episodes, even though so te in technicality, I have four episodes, but... I made a 3.2 of episode 3 because uh, from last week when I was streaming Prey, it crashed on me. 
and so you know I wanted to keep I wanted to keep continuing to play Prey so like I gave you guys another stream so that's why I made episode 3 and 3.2 but don't worry episode 4 will come to you guys later on tonight I assure you if not then like I will try to get to it tomorrow and then give you guys another game to watch me play as well also, if you enjoyed the stream, leave a like. If you wish to see me play more games or just like anything more, just like check my stream schedule just to see when I sh whenever I stream again. My YouTube channel for like shit that I already posted up on there. Just, you know, leave a follow if you want to or not. It's your choice completely. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fried. Hopefully, we don't have much longer to do. <laughs> have much longer to play and much more to do anyway. Because I'm like, yeah, this is taking this time. I really want to show you. I really want to tell you guys a special announcement after I beat this game. But until then, I will see you guys later on tonight. And, for, and also for the next episode of Fried. Until then, peace, y'all. Have a good day.